and anything goes, it seems like. Good evening. Hi, everyone. I'm Gail Lewis. Welcome to a special edition of the program Independent Television Theater called Spotlight. Tonight on Spotlight, we're going to highlight or spotlight artists who are great in our community. And we've got three of them with us this evening from Maggie's Little Theater. Welcome, what, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you from left to right in the red, Dolores Boyer, yeah. rhymes with lawyer. Uh -huh. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Miriam Denu. I don't want to say rhymes with menu, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> and Alan Perkins, who plays Tevia in Fiddler on the Roof. Yes, I do. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, for, welcome and thanks for joining us on Spotlight tonight. So I guess the first question I want to ask is uh, Maggie's Little Theater. Uh, tell us about it. How did it start? Where is it? And why? Okay. Well, it's in Middle Village, Queens, mm -hmm. and it is associated with St. Margaret's Church, Catholic Church and that's where we got our name from. Mm -hmm. um, our mission, if you will, is to try to incorporate families and children and everyone. So we didn't want the name to be too off-putting. We didn't want mm -hmm. it to be too formal. Mm -hmm. So instead of being St. Margaret's Theater Guild, right. we decided to call it Maggie's Little Theater. Mm -hmm. right. And how long have you guys been around? Uh, our first production went uh, in the Fall of 2007, 2007. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. which was uh, our first production was a Christmas show, mm -hmm. which we wrote. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Alan directed. Alan directed, directed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you guys are all directors, actors, producers. How does it work in community theater? Well, we do anything that is necessary, including well, cleaning bathrooms sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Whatever somebody doesn't want to do, you know, mm -hmm. you see the need, you got to fill it. It's, you know, mm -hmm. you're the one responsible. So. Alan found out that he actually is quite a good painter because we needed someone to paint sets and mm -hmm. now he's quite good at it. Yes. And you guys are all founders of Maggie's Little Theater? Yes, yes. we are. Mm -hmm. And is there another founder as well? Yes. No. Uh -huh. yes. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> My husband Ed is also one yes. of the founders. So mm -hmm. two married couples. Yes. That's right. Guys mm -hmm. and, That's you, right. and your husband Ed as well. Yes. So how did you guys all meet and come together to, to do this? Theater. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Theater. Some, we, um, Dolores and her husband Ed and I met over 20 years ago mm -hmm. uh, doing a show in Douglaston and Alan and I met actually indirectly, indirectly through theater. theater. So really? Through a show that never went up. Mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. Wow. So um, your next upcoming film uh, production is Fiddler on the Roof. Yes. Mm -hmm. I see uh, from your from your great costume. Who designed your costumes for Fiddler? Well, uh, Miriam actually is, uh, did the costumes for Fiddler. Well, she designed the costumes for Fiddler, uh, but she will say that this one I kind of did on my own. Really? Yeah. Oh. So you can put together your costumes as well. Yeah. All surprised. hats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All hats. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I was, you'd be surprised what, what we all do when we have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and prior to Fiddler, what were some of your other productions? I know you mentioned a Christmas show. That was your first production. Uh, yes. And then after that, what have you done? We, after that, we did Big. Uh, Big. Mm -hmm. Dolores Thoreau directed Dolores that, directed one. that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we did another Christmas show. No, um, we, we left, actually left off uh, Springs for the Birds. Oh, Springs for the Birds. Oh, that was yes. the only production I, I directed. It was for children. We thought it was mm -hmm. a great idea to do a children's show uh, for children, not with children in it. Mm -hmm. And then at the second part, after intermission, to introduce theater games to right. get them involved and see what kind of skills they would need to be on stage. It was a wonderful idea. Oh, the wow. seven kids who came loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it, it, this didn't didn't take off the way we we wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, the actors came down from the stage, and we you know interacted and uh, ran the workshop end of it. And the kids had a ball. Yeah, the but actors had a ball. The yes. actors mm -hmm. had a ball too. Mm -hmm. um, we just we discontinued that after the first the first try. We said it wasn't wasn't going to work. So. And on average, about how many productions do you do a year? Two. two. We do two. two. And when are mm -hmm. those? It used to be like Christmas and summer, and we, we're probably going to be uh, spring dropping summer, the Christmas yeah. show and just doing a spring and a summer show. Mm -hmm. okay. And why, why drop the Christmas show? Logistical issues with the parish. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Such Christmas a is time. a big time in a Catholic church, so. Uh, <laughs> it, was <very laughs> it was difficult. It was difficult. Yeah, it became difficult for mm -hmm. um, the parish to schedule everything. Right. So they asked us, and since we're the most flexible, you know, we don't need to do a Christmas show, um, we 
decided we were going to do something in the spring. Mm -hmm. uh, it, of course, wound up to be something sort of religiously themed anyway. We did Godspell. This um, past spring. This past spring, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that go? It was Very wonderful. Well. Very well. Yeah, it's Godspell. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the sets, uh, do you do the sets, uh, Alan? How I, does I just work? paint them. I don't build them. Mm -hmm. My husband um, and a friend of ours who is a master carpenter in real life, mm -hmm. um, they design and build the sets. Mm -hmm. So the, he's been, uh, they've been doing that since the beginning, the very beginning. And um, every year or every show, mm -hmm. my husband says, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> but you know, if we did this and that, the next show we'd be able to have a second level or, you know. So right. we mm -hmm. get more complicated it's everything at that show. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you get more complicated as you go along. I love that. So now you've got two levels. Are you using them in this production of any, uh, Anything oh, yeah. Goes? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Fiddle around the roof. I'm sorry. Yeah. With Anything mm -hmm. Goes, the second level was the ship. Right. But now we that have. That we saw in that clip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. And mm -hmm. now that's the roof line. So that we in have fiddler. a fiddler. So that's right. We have the roof level. line mm -hmm. and the, the fiddler can actually be up there. And it's working have, for us. Have you found that you've done that with other shows as well? You've gotten, um, you've gotten something or you've built something and then that becomes an uh, intricate part of the next production because you've already built oh, it? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and the we, cubes. We had the cubes forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, we mm -hmm. did a show, uh, Sound of Music, and of course, very important is that staircase because you right. have to have that, that, that number with the children on the stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, after we spent all that time and money building the staircase, the next Christmas show, we weren't going to get rid of the staircase, so mm -hmm. that became very important. When we hired the director, we said, okay, you see that staircase? You're going to work with it. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so from that came uh, the second level. Yes. Once we got yes. used to having a staircase, right. then, it was, then we would say, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we could be up there and do something up there? Right. And that's where that, uh, that came from. I think uh, he's, my husband's thinking about reworking the staircase and having it go up and down. Oh, and, you know, oh. He's always got it. He's got it. He's always got an idea, you know. But I, d I don't know that we're going to uh, let the set dictate the show. <laughs> yeah. so they do say, we have to think of what shows we can use that will utilize the second level before we tear it down. Right. We know it's not going to last forever. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. it, you know, we can't keep using it over and over again. Yeah, it, but while it's there, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you decide what comes next? We fight. We fight a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they choose, choose a pope? <laughs> Similar. <laughs> but that's easier. I think, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it involves white smoke is what you're telling me. Yes. yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it Coming does. out of people's ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's really not an easy project to, yeah. to pick a show. And mm -hmm. now that we've added more producers, uh, we were hoping that would help make it easier. Which right. It doesn't. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just as difficult. So. Yeah. Yeah. But in general, the process is we, we all have a wish list. Right. You know, of shows that we would like to do. Mm -hmm. And um, then we argue about them. And then we look at the set and see what could be done with mm -hmm. the set in the state that it's in from the previous show. Is it um, castable? Is it castable? That's a big, that's a big issue. Do you we know, have there the are talent. shows that we would love to do, but yeah. there's mm -hmm. no, uh, there's no availability right. of actors or mm -hmm. singers or dancers. Mm -hmm. um, so we have and to take everything into consideration. We take all of that into consideration how hard it is to costume. Right. You know, whether someone's... Not everyone can look like this. Yeah. Well, everyone <laughs> should look like that. And that's, that's a big part of it. I mean, Miriam has mm -hmm. spent her, her past four or five months sewing her fingers to the bone because people, we need to have the best quality that we can, mm -hmm. you know, and um, we want a, a uniformity. Many parish theaters and some community theaters will say to the, um, the actors, just bring me what you have in your closet and we'll make it work. Right. Uh, we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a show that's set in modern times and that would work, that would be fine. But something like Once Upon a Mattress or Fiddler on the Roof, mm -hmm. we need people to look a certain way. And if we have to make the costume, we will. So what's on your wish list? Anything in particular? Mm. <sighs> <laughs> My Fair Lady. Ooh, yeah. really the hat. Hat. And the hats. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens at our meetings. You know, <laughs> one of us will say something and the other one will say, nope, can't costume it. Nope. You want Susical. I like Susical, but again. They oh, gosh, the costuming. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, oh, that no, would be no, easy. No, I can do that. Easy. Uh -huh. That's the easy part. Mm -hmm. What would be the difficulty there? Is it going to draw? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, because we, we only do two shows a year, 
we have to draw a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we can't afford to stay open. Right, and we are self-supporting. We don't. The, we are sponsored by the parish. They allow us to use their space, mm -hmm. but we are self-supporting. Whatever um, income we get goes towards the next show. Right. And if we don't have income, we don't have another show. So you've got to bring people in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So other than Susical, anything else on the on the short list that you'd love to do? Wish list. Oh, my husband always wants to do Kiss Me, Kate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, he nice. suggests that every time. Um, What's the challenge there? Costuming. Okay. It's two sets of costumes because they have. Um, it's a show fighting. within a show. Yeah. Right. And they're sword fighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like fun. But just figuring out how to do the set for it because. Mm -hmm. it's Right, and the set turns. You know, it's very. There are a lot more issues with most shows mm -hmm. than you think of at the at the moment. You know, I think My Fair Lady. Oh, it's just some people, and they're dirty, and then they're, they're people in nice dresses. Mm -hmm. And Miriam mm -hmm. says, but "What about the hats? Yeah. Great hats." You know. <laughs> oh, I want good hats. Oh yeah, you have to have good hats. Mm -hmm. So, um, just when I'm thinking about uh, the the different shows that you do, I think about some of the challenges. Obviously, the hats, things mm -hmm. like that. What about uh, teaching the cast to do things they've never done before, like in Anything Goes? Oh, mm -hmm. well, we had a, a very big uh, concern. We wanted the tap dancing to look as good and as crisp as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, our choreographer, we, we approached her and asked if we could start a few weeks early and mm -hmm. would she guide the cast in what we called tap boot camp <laughs> because we wanted a lot of these people had never taken dance or taken tap particularly. Mm -hmm. And Myself we wanted included. them. <laughs> we wanted them to be able to, to do whatever she came up with, mm -hmm. and uh, she taught a couple of steps that she then incorporated into the choreography mm -hmm. so that they could tap, and it worked because when they all did the unis uniform, the unison tap, right, the time mm -hmm. step, yeah. the time step, the mm -hmm. audience ver uh, gasped. Right. They mm -hmm. were like. <gasps> So it was good. The sound of the just the absolutely yeah the rhythmic tapping and it was all together. Oh, it was great. Yeah. How long did that take? A few weeks before? Was it Plus every the entire day? rehearsal? You, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it we rehearsed that number almost daily. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. One number we just rehearsed. Oh, we we learned it in parts, mm -hmm. in little sections, and then it's like okay, now let's put it all together. Right. So it's like you know about a month before we went up. Says now let's do it as one big number. And we're like, mm -hmm. One? It, it's and one it was number? long. <laughs> 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 it's a long number. It is. But we did it. Wow, mm -hmm. great. And it, I'm thinking about all the tap dancers, uh, especially in that show. How do you get people in? How does one go about auditioning? What's that like? Where do you get people? We advertise. We started out advertising in local newspapers, in parish bulletins. Mm -hmm. Um, we all have friends. We've been in theater for a very long time, all Social of us. Social media, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook. And uh, what we do is we send out a, a notice that this day and this day, if you'd like to come down, mm -hmm. um, we ask people to bring music with them, which most don't. Mm -hmm. um, sheet music, I mean, so right. that the piano player can read from it. Um, and as time has gone on, we think about shows that people we know of or know mm -hmm. would want, would come down for. Uh -huh. um, we also encourage children to come down. Mm -hmm. We do shows, uh, we try to cast age appropriately, appropriately mm -hmm. meaning that if there is a six-year-old in the show, right. we want a six-year-old right. or seven or eight. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to cast a teenager as a middle-aged person. Right. So we look for the actual people who mm -hmm. will physically and by age um, fill those roles. Mm -hmm. When they audition, we have a lot of people who have never done theater before. Oh, that's great. And we have a lot of people, you know, who have or have not in a very long time. Um, we try to be very gentle. Um, some theater companies are, uh, will only audition a certain type. Right. And we don't want to be like that. We want mm -hmm. everyone to be welcome. Real right. community um, and family. Theater. Yeah. Right. yeah. One of mm -hmm. our uh, mission statements, if you will, was really about in trying to get families involved mm -hmm. so that they could learn from each other mm -hmm. and also just have a place where they all would be together. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to worry where your children are all the time. Right. And that mm -hmm. way, yeah. they're here and they're with you and mm -hmm. they're yes. with other adults that you know and trust. Mm -hmm. wow. As a matter of fact, the uh, carpenter that I mentioned before, our master carpenter, we actually got him through his son okay. because his son was a dance student. He mm -hmm. was 12 or 13 years old and we were doing big, mm -hmm. oh, uh, yeah. which is the same as the movie. Mm -hmm. um, 
we need, I, I needed a male dancer. I needed right. a child who could dance. Mm -hmm. And I actually went up to him in the schoolyard one day because I work where he went to school. Mm -hmm. And I said, you have to come. You just have to come. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask, uh, just, uh, just to segue over to Alan mm -hmm. for a moment, I'm going to ask Alan to give us a little uh, snippet, if you would, from Fiddler on the oh. Roof. Yeah. I know that you play Tevia in Fiddler, so if you would be so kind as to give us a snippet of what we can see in Fiddler this uh, summer. Okay. Thanks. We'll see. We'll see. I'll go through. And this is Alan Perkins, Tevia in Fiddler on the Roof. Today I am a horse. Dear God, did you have to make my poor old horse lose his shoe just before the Sabbath? That wasn't nice. It's enough you pick on me, Tevye. Bless him with five daughters, a life of poverty. What have you got against my horse? Sometimes I think when things are quiet up there, you say to yourself, hmm, let's see what kind of mischief I can play on my old friend Tevye. I'm not really complaining. After all, with your help, I'm starving to death. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alan Perkins, Tevia in Fiddler on the Roof, uh, for that little snippet mm -hmm. of Fiddler. Where can we get more information about Maggie's Theatre Company, and where can we get tickets to Fiddler this summer? Oh, our website is um, www. Maggie's Little Theatre, all one word with theatre spelled T H E A T E R. Um, dot org, org. Mm -hmm. and our telephone number is 917-579-5389. And you can also find Maggie's Little Theater on Facebook. Yes, yes. absolutely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And is there um, also uh, an email address? Yes, it's uh -huh. Maggie's Little Theater, same mm -hmm. thing, at gmail.com. Okay, great. So we were talking before about Fiddler. Um, when is that uh, going to be performed this summer? Our opening is July 13th, mm -hmm. 13th and 14th mm -hmm. is the first weekend. Second weekend is the 19th, July 19th, July 20th, and 21st is our closing afternoon. Mm -hmm. Great. And we can come by and see Fiddler. What's next after Fiddler? Do we have any idea? Not Lighting. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't had that fight yet. <laughs> but it won't be a Christmas show, unfortunately. Probably no, not. Probably okay, not. so the next mm -hmm. production next year. Yes, this spring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and just prior shows, I know that you've worn many hats. Um, in Once Upon a Mattress? I was uh, Queen Agravain, yes, mm -hmm. I was. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, I, I did the role fairly well because um, one of the young ladies did not realize <laughs> that I was nice at all until <laughs> opening night. Mm -hmm. I gave the cast each a, a rose to welcome them, welcome them and say, you know, good luck. Mm -hmm. And she was shocked. She kept saying, you're, you're nice. <laughs> well, yes, what do you mean? She was apparently afraid of me the entire rehearsal period and I didn't know that. Oh, I love that. So I guess I was doing a good job. You really yes. got into character. I guess. <laughs> the mean queen. <laughs> and uh, I hear from someone at Maggie's Little Theater that you guys have an affinity for both Mickey Mouse and a suit of armor. Yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes. Tell us more. Yes. Well. Uh, Nigel. Sir Nigel. Nigel is our suit of armor. Mm -hmm. He uh, came to us from Materials for the Arts, which is a a uh, foundation run by the city, mm -hmm. which provides materials for the arts. Um, mm -hmm. You can go and get fabric and all kinds of things. And once I was there once, and I saw this suit of armor, it had nothing to do with the show we were doing at the time. Mm -hmm. But I said, oh, that's really cool. We should take that. I wonder, I'm sure we can put it somewhere. Right. Since we've had him, he's been in every show. Every show? Oh, every yeah. show. How big is he? He's about <coughs> four feet tall. Okay. Yeah, yeah he's, mm -hmm. he's on the small side. But we find a place for him in every show. Oh, I love and it. And when we started Fiddler, we're like, oh my goodness, this is a poor place. Where are we going to put a suit of armor? Mm -hmm. Well, they have a tavern. <gasps> so we're going to put him in the tavern. He's going to be in the tavern. tavern. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mickey Mouse? That's I'll Alan. I'll do that one. <laughs> well, we're all Disney World fans. So, uh -huh. Well, um, you're in the theater, so. And, and yeah. since <laughs> I paint the sets, I just started putting hidden Mickeys. Mm -hmm. And it becomes, now the cast is always looking for them. So mm -hmm. where is it this time? Where is it this time? And we try to put them in very subtle places. Mm -hmm. um, Except when we did Godspell, I put it in an extremely obvious place, so nobody uh, nobody saw it. <laughs> it was huge. Oh, it was nobody that big. Saw okay. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. every set, there's a little hidden Mickey somewhere. So Where when you, you come uh -huh. to see us, yes. you'll have to look for it. Mm -hmm. It's a knot hole in the door. This Shh. time around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's been knot holes. It's been uh, rivets. I do a mm -hmm. lot of rivets. Mm -hmm. um, little things like that. Mm -hmm. 
but it's visible. If, yeah. you, if you're looking for it, you will see it from the okay. audience. It's a little Easter egg. Is that yeah. what they call those? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little That's Easter right. egg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Um, anything else you want to tell us about Maggie's Little Theater Company? Um, where you guys are going in the future? What you see for your future uh, going on? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that we are happy with what's going on now. We'd like mm -hmm. to continue to improve. Um, one of the things that I really like about Maggie's is that we see, um, especially with the children, the young people, mm -hmm. we see the progression of their love for theater. Right. You know, all, as well as their experience, their talents grow and all that. But um, there's not as much of a theater culture as there was when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, every, every parish had a theater group when I was growing up. And that's not, it's not like that anymore. We wanted to provide a place where people could see theater, quality theater for a low price, um, and where artists could come, uh, not just on stage, but we have uh, seamstresses and tailors and carpenters and all those kinds of people who have now an outlet for their creativity. Mm -hmm. And that's what we would like to continue. In this world where so much of our, our teenagers are involved in, you know. In their thumbs. Their thumbs, yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is a, an opportunity to interact with people. Mm -hmm. and, and to learn how to deal with people of all different ages mm -hmm. and uh, they have to learn to deal with you know, adults and different temperaments mm -hmm. and I think it's very important. It's, it's mm -hmm. a very important skill that maybe they're lacking. I, yeah. think, I think we also want to try to get more people involved in the non-acting things. Right. Um, as I've learned, a uh, very hard lesson to learn is the easiest thing you can do on any show is act. Really? So mm -hmm. what yeah. are the other non-acting things? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sound. Sound. Um. Yeah, running sound, uh, building things, create, finding props, creating oh, yeah. props. Mm -hmm. right. uh, lighting sewing, design. Sewing, lighting design. Right. Uh, running the kitchen, there's concessions yes. that yeah. we require. Uh, taking you know. ticket orders, uh, Gosh, managing yeah. the box office, mm -hmm. taking, you know, the, the seating. Uh, there's, there's advertising, publicity. Advertising. There's, there are many, many, many things. Mm -hmm. Many more than on stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to get involved in that aspect of it, we would welcome you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> would you have What to time have are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> would you need experience? No. no. Oh, no. okay. No. No. If you, you don't know what, we'll show you. We'll show you what to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wow. This sounds like a great way for an entire family to get involved. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And we have families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. The kids can act. Mom can, can paint stuff. And Dad can can do the concessions. And eventually mm -hmm. the, yeah. the kids start, like uh, again, you mentioned Ushering. Uh, <laughs> you mentioned our carpenter and uh, uh -huh. Mike and Jeffrey, the, mm -hmm. you know, the, his son is now helping build sets. You know, he's in college wow. now. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. he's still dancing on the, you know, on the stage with us. He's mm -hmm. awesome, but you know, he'll, he'll right. build and sets with us. Not, yeah. to, not to toot my own horn, but my son also was in, has been in most of the shows. He's away at college, mm -hmm. but he's now into um, lighting design. Yeah, so he's, he's designing and guy. running our lights for this show. Nice, and he's, he's also acted. He's yeah. acted mm -hmm. in uh, all every show except this one and the very first one. Wow! And he's done other things as well, uh, just helping out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you mentioned we put everybody the bathroom, to, so yeah. yeah. yeah we put a, I don't think we've ever work. had him clean the bathroom. <laughs> 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 so everyone works. Yes. And yeah. there's no experience necessary. None um, at all. Oh, nope. We'll no. train. You'll train. <laughs> Great. So where again can we come for more information about Maggie's? If we want to act, if we want to sing, or if we want to help out with any of those other non-acting things. Website. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh -huh. www. Let me make me say that again. <laughs> Maggie's Little Theater, spelled T H E A T E R, dot org. Great. And uh, we're just closing up. Final thoughts? We'd like to thank you for oh having yes, us today. Oh, thank, thank you guys you. for yes. coming. Thank you to our guests. Thank you. This thank evening you. on Spotlight, we had Alan Perkins, also Tevia in Fiddler on the Roof, Miriam Denu. Uh, in the pink, and to my left, Dolores Voyer. Thanks so much, founders of Maggie's Little Theater. Uh, for more information about Maggie's, hit the website and uh, go and see their latest show, uh, Fiddler on the Roof, this summer. So thanks so much, guys, for coming. And thank, thank you. you guys for joining us tonight on Spotlight. Join us again real soon, and hopefully you'll get another uh, great view of independent theater here in Queens. Thanks for joining us, and good night. Well...